everyone, today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul and mostly this is collective of course and also some things that I got for Christmas. So the first things that I want to show are things that I got from Bath and Body Works and they were having a sale of buy three get three free. I gave two to my mom and I kept four of the 24 hour moisture ultra shade body cream and I have the warm vanilla sugar and I also got the cashmere glow which is um, really really nice and I already um, tried it last year and I really liked it and then I also got the Twilight Woods and also Mad About You. I also got some things for Christmas and the first thing that I got for Christmas was the Tarte um, Amazonian uh, Clay Full Coverage uh, Airbrush Foundation which is just a loose powder, uh, loose foundation powder. And then I also got the Air Buki, which is the brush that comes with it and is supposed to give you a really nice flawless finish with this brush. And you guys have probably seen this. This is really, really, really soft brush and I just use this actually and I have it on right now and I really enjoy it. It's more of a light to medium coverage because I didn't apply a lot of it. And also if you're interested in how I did this look, then I'm going to leave the link below so you guys can see that video. And then the foundation is just in this netting, um, like, I don't know what you call it, a net. And that's where it protects the loose powder because it is a loose powder. You don't want the powder to fly everywhere. So that's really nice that they have the netting. Also got the MAC uh, Face and Body Foundation for Christmas. I've been wanting to try it. I wanted to try foundations that don't have SPF because when I go to parties, I don't want the flash photography photography to sort of show that white cast so I wanted to try this because it has no SPF and I heard it's really good and also the Tarte uh, foundation doesn't have any SPF so it'll be really great for flash photography and I tried this it matches my skin color I really like it it's also very light coverage so um, if you do have more of um, a problematic skin then you might not like this because it's not going to give you full coverage this is more of a light coverage I wanted to try a new moisturizer, so I heard really good things about Shiseido, so I decided to try um, their skincare. So I got the Ibuki Refining Moisturizer. I've been using it for a week uh, so far. The moisturizer, um, the consistency is very runny, so it's more like watery and not as thick, so that could be a problem for some people, but I do like it. It does moisturize my skin, and it has a really nice pump, so I do like it that you know, it's very easy to use. I'm gonna do a review once I've tried it for maybe two weeks or three weeks just to give you my honest opinion on what I think about this moisturizer. Next, I bought some things from Cebu. They were having a great sale uh, during Black Friday or Cyber Monday and I bought a lot of skincare for my mom and also for a few people for Christmas. The thing that I did get for myself is the Cebu Cleansing Face and Body Bar which I wanted to try just to use it for my body because I've heard really great things about it. And this um, company is really great because they are first of all cruelty free and they also have no parabens, sulfates, glutens, or artificial preservatives, and it's non-GMO and cruelty-free, like I said. So it's a really great brand. If you guys want to try, they always have great um, sales. So I will look. I would try to look for any coupons if I can find and put them down below. Um, and then the next thing that I got from them is their Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil, which I've heard really great things about it, and I. I actually got this last year and I just got a new one because I really enjoyed it. It's really great for rosacea and any like very dry skin and I do get that in the winter because Chicago gets really really cold in the winter. It's just in a droplet so it's really good for um, to apply and you just kind of do four or five drops and you put it wherever you want to apply it in your face or in your body and it's a really great product. I got two things from the Hot Look website which they had a lot of really nice eye palettes. So the first thing that I got is the It's Judy Time palette and it was really really inexpensive. It was like seven or eight dollars and if you are interested in what I'm wearing on my eyes I actually did use this palette for this whole eye look. So if you guys are interested um, there's going to be a link below so you guys can watch that tutorial but anyway this is how it looks like you guys have probably seen it I do like it you get your mattes and your shimmer eyeshadows and then of course you get your pop of colors and your purples and your blues so I do like this um, 
uh, palette and it's really small and tiny and great for uh, travel. The next thing I got from Hot Look is the Nude Nude Tude the Bomb palette and I've heard really great things about it and I haven't bought it because I do have a lot of neutrals so I just I wasn't sure if I wanted another one but I decided to try it because that's all I wear. I wear neutrals all the time and then you can see all the neutral colors. They're so pretty. It comes with a huge mirror that I don't want to blind you but as you can tell it's really pretty and it has these like nude <laughs> women and what's covering is their um the eyeshadows so i do like them there's mattes and shimmers as well and you get your black and your really nice browns and it's just a gorgeous eyeshadow palette so i haven't used it yet but i am probably going to use it and i'm going to probably do a makeup look using this palette as well also got some things from um michelle fawn her beauty line m and um i got two things i actually got four things and I got my mom the same thing. So I got her the eyebrow, uh, which is their the M Art Longwear Brow Liner, and it comes with a little spoolie in one side. It's a really weird consistency, and I feel like it's really thin. I don't know how I feel about this. I also got the great cover up um, concealer, and I got this in the color light warm. And I also don't know how I feel about it yet because when I applied it, like I tried to blend it, and when it when I was trying to blend it, like the consistency came out, like it it got really crumbly and it was just really weird. Like it was just coming out. Like every time I used my fingers the product kept just running like and moving around a lot. Next thing that I got from Amazon is all of these brushes which I'm really excited. The only thing that I don't like about them is that the gold is really a really weird gold. I thought it was going to be a lighter gold but whatever. They also have it in silver so if you don't like gold then you can get the same brushes but in the silver um, metal instead of gold. The brush set came with five eye brushes and these are all soft and I use some of them are dirty because I use them today. I use two of them and you get your fluffy blending brush, your slanted fluffy brush, your flat sort of top um, blending or pretty much these are all for blending and this is more precision for your outer crease to apply a more of the darker color and then this is also a blending brush and I also got some face brushes and I actually got five but one of them my mom has so I have the slanted um, flat brush which I really do like and I think it'll be great for like contouring and blending and then you have a round a slight slant but it is not as slant as this one right here as you can tell so it's really nice and they're really really soft then you also have your flat kabuki brush which is similar to the sigma f80 brush and i use this for foundation so as you can tell it's already dirty and then i have this pointy foundation brush it's um I haven't used it because I don't know what I'm going to use it. I might use it for highlight or even contouring um, my face as well. But these are all really, really uh, soft and really, really nice quality. I got the Beauty Blender and I got the Beauty Blender in black. And I already used it once for foundation. So it's a little dirty. I'm going to try the Beauty Blender for a very long time. So I got this for, um, for Christmas as well. I'm going to show our all lip products because I've been into lips. Um, this whole month. I watched this girl named, um, oh my god, I forgot her name. Her name is something Fox. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot her name, but I'm going to link to the channel down below so you guys can watch her, and she always does all these really gorgeous um, lip swatches. So the first two are the Wet n Wild, and I got the color Cherry Bomb, which is a really deep color and I'm going to show you guys right here just how deep it is. It's a really pretty color for this season just for the winter season so it's really 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 gorgeous. They're all matte and then I got this pink one. It doesn't have a name anymore but if I do find the name I'm going to link the name down below but it's more of a really nice reddish pinkish color. I really love these lipsticks. And then I also have the Revlon there, the Color Burst Matte Balms. And I got this in the color Elusive, and it's just a gorgeous pink. And they're also very, very pigmented, so 
you guys can see is this one right here. It's more of a lighter pink, really gorgeous, and they are minty, so I do like them. And then I got a Jordana lipstick, and they're the Twist and Shine Moisture Lip Balms. And these are more, um, they're less pigmented, but I do like them as well. So um, it's more, you know, really nice light pink. They're not as pigmented at all these other lipsticks, but I do like them. I mean, it's a moisturized lip balm and with the stain, so I love it. And I do want to show that I have another one, and this is in another Jordana um, uh, lip balm. And this one's more pigmented and it's gorgeous. I use this all the time for school and like I always get so many compliments. It's right here. It's more like a berry, really pretty color. And you can make it darker the more, of course, um, you know, the more you apply. So I would really recommend these. These are really, really inexpensive. And then the other thing that I got is their, the e.l.f. matte lip colors. And I got this in Reach. Reach. I got this in Rich Red, which is a red color. And it's what I'm wearing right now on my lips. And it's just a really nice uh, red color. I'm wearing on top of the Rich Red uh, lipstick. Is, it's just a dark red. So I'm going to show you right here. It's really really gorgeous that's all the beauty products that I got for a couple of months now so if you guys have any questions please let me know don't forget to like this video if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe for more future videos I'll see you guys soon bye